It's my first time wearing a lace front, and I gotta tell you guys, this thing itches like a mofo. <laughs> Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Vintage or Tacky. Yes, it's me, Cora. I know the wig is kind of little, it's a little different. Um, this is my Sasha Fierce wig. I got this at a local wig shop when I was shopping for Halloween wigs a few years ago. And I tried this on for fun. And a bunch of ladies there were like, if you don't leave with that wig, it's a crime. And I was like, I think you're right. It's a lace front. And I had to cut the lace actually to wear it today. I was a little sad. I'm not sure I did it right. Please help me out because I've never worn a lace front before and I swear I'm probably doing this wrong because it itches like hell or maybe that's just how it is. I don't know. Uh, but today's video is going to be using the Jeremy Scott palette from MAC. I love this collection. I think this is so much fun. I'll show you the packaging for the box because Dude, they did the damn thing. This is literally both like retro and tacky and I love everything about it. This was literally like, oh hi Cora, have a perfect collection from MAC. I love Jeremy Scott. He is a playful uh, fashion rebel and I really like his like good bad taste. I MAC has always collaborated with uh, designers and things back from when I used to work at MAC, which is why I'm wearing my MAC necklace today. I don't know if that many of my newer subscribers know this, but I worked at Mac for a couple of years and I loved it. It was a great job. I just, I, I quit to do YouTube full time. Um, and so this is a very exciting collection for me. Um, the palette itself looks like this. It is a boom box, which is so cool. I love this. And it even has like a little handle. I'm kind of considering hanging this on my wall. On the inside, you have 29 eyeshadows, which is quite a lot of eyeshadows and I really like the sleekness of the package. It has a beautiful full mirror. There's a ribbon that keeps it open so it's actually quite nice to use the mirror if you're like, oh hi, how you doing? And then you've got the 29 eyeshadows and they look like, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. What's that called? Like sound peaks. Kind of like the thing that's happening on my camera right now when I go, ah! Loving this palette, just a rainbow of colors. I was most excited about this purple shadow. I was immediately drawn to it when I did swatches on Instagram yesterday. I was not impressed because I did them dry like with my finger and in my experience MAC shadows just never swatch that impressively. I feel like they're really designed to work best in practice and less so um, being swatched, especially since they are, they're, they're very finely milled and hard pressed. Uh, so they're meant to be built up, which is a good thing because if you only want to use a little bit of a color, it's perfect. If you're going for like a one swipe wonder, like the purple in that palette definitely is not the one for that, but it definitely looks beautiful blended on, especially with a synthetic brush. There is a slip cover on the inside that says the names of all the colors, but on the back there's also like a track listing kind of thing. And then each one of the shadows is shown in a little graphic where it's numbered with the coordinating name. So you don't have to keep the little slip cover. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it out because those things drive me crazy. But I love this palette. It's just, it's very, very cool, very different, very unique. Uh, it's just, it's different from anything else I've seen. One thing I would like to point out is how finely milled these powders are. They do kind of get a little bit messy in there, but they are like silk. It's one thing I've loved about the MAC eyeshadows for a number of years. Um, this has a total of 14.5 grams for 29 eyeshadows, so they're less than a gram per shadow. Um, small amounts. It is $75 for a MAC palette, which, you know, when I first started buying MAC, in order to buy like one of those 15 pan palettes, it was like... 177 bucks or something like that, like something ridiculous. Um, I would never buy them all at once. I would always buy them individually and like slowly fill up a palette. So the idea of just going to MAC or Ulta, which is where I purchased mine, and just getting, you know, and just getting 29 eyeshadows in one go for 75 bucks seemed pretty great to me. So love this. Let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. Starting out today with my eyebrows. This is very exciting for me because, uh, I have no freaking clue why this is exciting. I don't know why I would say such. Eyebrows aren't exciting. I mean, I like them. I'm willing to spend the time to make them look great, but like, they're really not exciting. And everyone always starts their videos like, oh my God, this is the best day of my life. And it's like, shh, calm down, it's eyebrows. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is me adjusting my wig now. I put on my primer, which was the MAC primer. I recently did a very, 
like incredibly in-depth video reviewing Mac Studio Fix Fluid, which I think is really worth a watch. I uh, kind of go through some of the techniques that I use to make it look really natural and beautiful. And a lot of you have commented that you love the realism of that video. Uh, so let me know what some foundations are that you'd like to see me review. In today's video, I am gonna be going for that full coverage look, which is something I didn't do in that original. In the original one, uh, you know, lose my train of thoughts and watch myself blend out my concealer. Anyway, we're just gonna move on. Um, we're doing full coverage today. My concealer is this Select Moisture Cover from MAC. One thing I like to do is, after I'm done blending it, blend a little bit of the foundation over so that all the colors are perfectly blended and matched and you don't have any like, oh, why is that kind of different there? kind of vibe, um, adding a little bit more where I need more coverage. And I like the Select Moisture Cover because it's a little bit, um, it, it rests on the skin really nicely. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. And I really, really enjoy uh, how well it blends. It just, it's a really easy to use product. So blending that all in. And once I'm done with that, I set everything with powder. And I'm using my Beauty Blender Dry, which is something, I just like the texture of it for adding powder to the face. And I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Light. It's a fabulous powder that I've used for like, I don't know, like a decade now or something. I don't know, it's just, it's great. So what I do is on the high planes of my face, I use the color light and elsewhere on the face, I'll use light plus that'll blend them together to kind of make my perfect match. Uh, after I did my brows, I did my brows again by adding the Milani Brow Tint Pen in Natural Taupe, which is Fabulous, it gives a really great red tone, which is perfect for my Sasha Fierce wig today. You can see my lace front tracks in the front though. So like help me out because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, next, I'm taking some concealer under my brows. I would like to take this moment to say, this is concealer under the brows. These are not concealer brows. The whole point of this is to look very natural and to give me a little bit of a lift because I'm hecka pale. I've got to do that with concealer. Now, if you're a deeper skin tone than me, you can just use another lighter flesh tone type eyeshadow or cream product or whatever, but I'm white, so I have to use concealer. <laughs> And after that, I put on a little bit of my primer, which was awesome. Now for the eyeshadows. I'm using Club New Wave Mix to set down my purple. And you can see like at first, it's not exciting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like this particular type of purple is really hard. And the only company I've really seen do this type of purple properly has been uh, Sugar Pill and Makeup Forever. And, and even both of those were much more like like red based purples and I'm gonna end up mixing a pink shadow in with it you can see here this is bird's eye view um, by adding some kind of pink in with this type of purple you're gonna make it blend better you're gonna make it more opaque it's just gonna be a better time but I like that this actually has the more blue tone purple because if I wanted to for another look I can mix it in with blue shadows speaking of which I'm now adding synthesize which is a beautiful like pale minty blue and over the purple it turned into that really pretty lavender color so I'm doing a lot of mixing back and forth here and this is just something you I mean that's what you got to do to make it look cute it's just blend a little bit of this and blend a little bit of that and add a little bit of this and add a little bit of that so I wanted to show you guys uh, what I did for highlight today since this palette doesn't have a highlight that would work for me that I wanted to do I wanted a flesh tone so I'm just using some powder this is the next to nothing powder from Mac no biggie, moving on. Now I'm adding a combination of Club New Wave Mix with Deep Emotions, the deep dark purple. And wow, I really like that combo together. That is a perfect purple eyeshadow. The darker color has incredible slip and blending power, whereas the more intense uh, like purple kind of gives it the vibrancy. And I think the two look great together. Next, I'm taking Video Emotions and popping that in my inner and outer corner. And you can see right there, see it blends really well. It's a great eyeshadow. I kind of just chunked it on the outer bit and then added a bit more of Club New Wave Mix, the bright purple, to add that purple little pop in that outer bit. I'm really liking the way this is coming together, I gotta say. Um, Lo-Fi is the color that I'm using now, the matte beige color. I like to do this when I'm gonna put glitter over because it just kind of acts as like a you know, like a little foundation for the glitter so it has something to stick to other than just your eyelid. My glitter today is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal in, oh no, I can't remember the name, oh no. Uh, it's the pink one, it's new, it's gorgeous, it's very multi-glittery, it's gorgeous. Uh, and I dipped out a frame when I was doing my eyeliner, but I'm not doing anything exciting, but I do really like this eyeliner, it's the Tartist, or Tartiste, Liner, I like it because on one end it's liquid liner, the other end it's like a 
traditional black waterproof eyeliner and so it's great you can do your your liquid liner you can do your top you know waterline or your inner rim or whatever you can do so much with it it's a great product next i am taking synthesize again and i'm using that for my inner corner highlight i really like doing that like a contrasting very pastel shadow that's what i love about this palette it has so much going for it there's so many different things you can do with it um, for my contour for my nose, which I almost never do, but I just felt like going full glam today. This is lo-fi and bite the beat mixed together. And I loved the way this turned out guys. Like, wow. I was really impressed with the color that that created for contouring my nose. Again, not something I do every day, but every now and then you got to enter, you know, you got, you got to release your inner diva and, and contour things, I guess. Um, for my inner rims, I am using a black liner, um, and then f underneath that I am smudging Vacation Speed Zone, which is gorgeous. It's kind of like a hybrid between Nocturnal and um, Sketch for me. It's now one of my favorite eyeshadows for blending on my under eye. It looked gorgeous. And then I go back with just a little bit more of the black liner just to smooth everything out. These are things I usually cut out of videos, but little tiny things like that can really make or break a look. And then there's almost no fallout, guys. What the heck? I never do my foundation first, but there was almost no fallout. One of the things I kind of missed about using MAC shadows, I haven't used them a ton of my videos lately, um, and I forgot, oh my god, like there's almost no fallout. Uh, next I put on a pair of lashes. These are from Kiss. They are the 01SS Shorts. And there's this weird thing on my lash. Thank God it fell off. Woof! Don't have to worry about that anymore. I like them because they are not a full width band so it's nicer because i have smaller eyes they fit me a little bit better little mascara on my natural lashes just to make it all you know copacetic because my lashes are blonde underneath the darker color i then added a little bit of happy song the pretty pink just to kind of give it a smoky blend out uh, I tried using lo-fi and bite the beat as contour and unfortunately because these are super small pans it just, it was weird, but I blended it. I made it work. For my blush, I used the Nicki Minaj lipstick called The Pink Print. And oh my gosh, this is such a pretty color. I've used this as a lipstick and a blush, and I think it's gorgeous either way. I just patted a little bit of my face powder on top of that just to make sure that it was set. For my highlight, I used the new uh, Hyper Real Glow Powder in Rosy Glow. It was really pretty. Love that. Mac used to have another product called Hyper Real Powder. And I honestly can't remember what type of product that was, but I'm glad they reused that name because I think it's a great product name. Uh, for my lips today, I'm using Mama Star from Patrick Star and that little face I just gave myself in the mirror. This was the first time I was trying this lipstick out and I was like, oh damn, I like that. So, you know, you gotta give yourself some, you know, some looks in the mirror every now and then. Um, blending that out um, along my lip lines with a lip brush because I have uneven lip borders because my lip scar. And then I'm gonna use She Better Work, the Patrick Star lip gloss. You know what, guys? I am super duper proud of Patrick and I, you know, I think that he did a really good job with his collaboration. I never got around to doing anything with those, so I'm glad I was able to use it in this video. And I thought that it came together really pretty with the purple eye. So, and I love those nudes. Like, I can rarely wear nudes, but those worked for me. And here is the completed look. I had so much fun doing this for you. Like seriously, I love this collection. I think it's really cool. This is the only piece that I picked up from the collection because I wasn't sure if I would use the blush and uh, the lip palette. Well, I have a lot of those colors already. So it's kind of like, I don't need another orange in my life. As great as orange is, I just don't need another one of them. I have a problem with MAC lipstick. It's addictive. Um, it's the smell, right? It's a smell. It's so addictive. Anyway, I love this collection. I thought it was very cool. MAC, this is, this is what we'd like to see more of really fun really playful i mean this is so playful i'm going to keep the box do you know how long it's been since i've kept 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 <laughs> do you have any idea how long it's been since i've kept makeup packaging like almost never but this is so cool and this is so cool oh my gosh like the makeup nerd in me loves it the fashion nerd in me loves it the music nerd in me loves it and the 90s kid in me loves it it's like oh my god ah! remember i might be vintage or tacky honey but just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.